Hey, welcome to week 10. Here we are. We've got five or six weeks left and we just got back from spring break. I hope your spring break was wonderful. Um, I hope you unplugged or, or worked or did whatever it was that you wanted or needed to do. Um, I unplugged for a few days myself. I, um, I actually made a new backsplash in my kitchen. So that's, that's what I did while we were on break. Um, this week in our class is SWAT. It is a strengths, SWAT stands for strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats. It is a way to analyze what we got going on. It's an analysis. What are we good at? What are we weak at? Where are the opportunities for us in the marketplace? And where are some threats? Threats and weaknesses. So strengths and weaknesses are things that we have control over. Opportunities and threats are things that we don't have control over, but we need to be aware of. Opportunities being, um, let's say that you own um, one of our one of our classmates actually is wanting to open a metaphysical shop, and let's say that the only metaphysical shop in town just closed down. That's opportunity. That's a big opportunity. You didn't have a thing to do about it. Do with it. But that's a big opportunity. Um, so you could swoop in and capture those customers very quickly. A threat is a law being introduced in the house that would make all metaphysical shops illegal. You don't have anything to do with any of that. But if your business is in that industry... One showed the opportunity there. The other one showed a big threat. So, I know that's a simplistic way to explain that, but strengths and weaknesses we have control over. Opportunities and threats we do not. And opportunities and threats sometimes are the hardest answer. Um, so, your assignments this week. So, you're in Chapter 7 um, and 8. Look specifically for that information regarding SWAT. There is a SWOT assignment that I'm asking you to do your own SWOT analysis on your own business as part of the marketing plan that we're putting together. So you're going to be writing, coming up with three to five bullet points on each. Three to five strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Now the opportunities and threats, again, what is something that is out there that you have no control over that is either good for you or bad for you? If you own a hair salon and it is on Kill Avenue in Sherwood and you see that three more hair salons are going up in the next three blocks from you, that could be a problem. Competition in and of itself is not a threat, but when it comes to oversaturation, that can be a threat. So keep that in mind. Keep when you're doing it, make sure you're remembering that strengths and weaknesses are things that you can control. Um, opportunities and threats are not. Um, those are big, much bigger, much, much bigger. Um, we have, there is a video I want you to watch of an interview that I did with the owner of Take Aim Axe Throwing. And there is a quiz associated with that video. Um, we also, it is time to advise, and it is time for our mid-semester meetup. I sent you an email and posted as an announcement the week before spring break about the mid-semester meetup. Um, I have probably three or four of those scheduled every day this week, and I'm now scheduling more of them for next week. So this can be twofold. I would like to go over your grade. Look at, look at the class. What's working? What's not? Give me some feedback, you know? Um, I would also like to see where you're at. What can we work on together to help that? Maybe you're behind. You know what? I have been up front the last few weeks that I got crazy behind in grading. And although I made great strides recently in getting lots of grades caught up, I'm still not done. Are you still not caught up either? If so, let's get some things turned in. One at a time, work on that. But we can talk about it when we get together. It is a required assignment, but it can be twofold. We can talk about your grade. We can talk about your frustrations, whatever it is that you want to talk about. But also, we can look at what we need to do for your schedule for next semester. Um, it is now time to do advising. 
And if you are in this class, chances are I'm your advisor. Did you know that after your first semester that you are to start using your faculty advisor that you've been assigned rather than the advisor in the advising center? The advisor in the advising center is for students in their first semester. And they get you onboarded and do all these great things and give you all this wonderful information. But after that, the semesters after that, you are to be transitioned to your faculty advisor that's based on your um, major. So entrepreneurship majors, digital marketing majors, and some business majors and a couple other things. But anyway, entrepreneurship, digital marketing is probably why you're in this class. I am your advisor, not someone in the advising center. Make sure you reach out so we can chit chat about your schedule. Uh, schedules will open up next Tuesday, April the 4th. So we can, this meetup that we're doing, we can do it and it be twofold and we can talk about your grade and we can also talk about your next list of classes. If you're ready to throw in the towel and give up because you just feel like you're too behind, holler at me. Let's talk about it. I'll be real with you. If I think it's too far, too gone, I'm going to tell you. If I think we can salvage it, I'm also going to tell you that. But I would like for you to reach out to me so we can make that decision together. If there is any hope whatsoever of salvaging a passing grade, I will always go for that. You know what? You didn't wake up on... The first day of the semester in January and say, I can't wait to get a C. You didn't do that. Nobody did that. But it's okay if you end up getting one. Because if life happened and you got so behind that you barely thought that you were going to make it, and you but you think you can give it one last push if we can salvage a passing grade, then reach out and let's see if we can do that. If you've got some work that you owe me that you haven't turned in yet, Let's don't wait until the last day of class in May. I'm serious. I don't have enough hours in the day to be able to grade all of the late work plus finals. There's there's not enough hours in the day. Um, so if you've got multiple things that you need to give me from the last couple of weeks, go ahead one at a time. Start giving those to me. Also, reach out. Let's talk about it. So this week, you've got chapter seven and eight, SWOT analysis, you got the video and the quiz to um, talk about take aim axe throwing and it's time to get advised and meet up with me. I am not interested in forcing you to come to campus if you're never on campus. Hear me. I'm not at all. However, I love Zoom meetings and we don't have to take 30 minutes. Um, it doesn't have to take all day. If you work all day long and can only meet in the evening? Tell me that. Shoot me an email. Tell me that. That's what I need you to tell me. And I'll tell you what evening I'm free. And so we'll work it out. It's fine. Life has happened. It. Let's work. Let's 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 get it fixed. Um, I would really like to meet with you soon. Like I said, I'm already making appointments for next week. So holler at me. Questions, concerns, whatever. Shoot me an email. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.